the Truth the Girls. Hi everyone, it's Truth the Girl Sonia here. Hello. I'm here with Gunner. Oh Gunner, wait, you've got egg on your face. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's what mom ah. Get that ah. egg off. You can't have egg in the video. No. Gunny! Ah. Alright, now that we got that straightened up. Okay, so we're here to give you an update um, about the homeschooling situation. Uh, I've done a few videos on this, and I'm gonna just warn you like this, okay? This, the, you know, Gunner is kind of like interrupts a lot, sorry to say, but it's a fact. And it's, it's kind of like disruptive, like if I'm trying to stay on track doing a video, but you know what? In this video, I'm just gonna let it happen naturally. Um, and I don't, hey, hey, hey. I want let you me, to know that's not like let I out just a fan stop yet there. There. Listen to my, listen to my sweet guitar skills. Listen to my sweet guitar skills. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, uh, so here's the update on the careful on the homeschooling. Okay, as you know, Gunner was kicked out of school and school in general by the school board, and he's supposed to be home now with the tutor. Gunny, please try not to be disruptive. Yeah. Actually, this Evil. is a that's lot of why, why he was kicked out because this, which you see, like you cannot just be like, that's it, stop it, yell at him. It, sorry to talk about you in the third person, but that's what we're here to talk about. And like why he's kicked out of school and what's happening now. That the disruptive behavior, it's pretty much ongoing and it's just the way he is. And if you, you can come down really hard and yell, but you know what? Even if you get that one Yo, behavior to stop, like, like two like minutes feet. later, oh my God. 30 seconds later, there's going to be another one. It doesn't, you can't make it Our actually just like stop. Feet. It doesn't happen. No. So he's um, kicked out of school, stop, and supposed to be home with a tutor. The school decided that I have to homeschool him, which is, I'm kind of happy because he was having a really bad experience at school and I felt really bad for him that he, it was having a really big toll on him. It was really making him like hate school and even hate learning in general. And um, I was worried about what kind of effect it's going to have long term. So um, I'm kind of happy that they sent him home because a kid with special needs, if you try to pull him out of school, they can often send uh, youth protection like CPS after you and try to say you're neglecting them or something. Uh, but lucky for me, the school is the one who kicked them out. So, you know, it was their decision, not mine. And I'm happy to go along with it actually for now. So here's what happened. So he was supposed to have a tutor in January. This, this never drink. happened. Or drink. Okay. Drink. Yes. The, it, drink. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Cause we have to go and whatever. It's always like this. Um, he, he was supposed to have a tutor, but the tutor never came. They never called me. I never heard from the school board. I even went to the school and I told the principal um, he hasn't had a tutor yet. And the principal said, I'm going to call them and get on it. Uh, but apparently even that didn't get it going. So for now, he still doesn't have a tutor. Uh, I'll let you know what happens with that. I mean, can you believe it though? They kick him out and they say he's going to be tutored. On, and there's no follow up, you know. Okay. Um, as far as schoolwork goes, I'll be honest with you. Although I showed you in my other videos, some of the kind of things we're doing, but in general, not a lot is getting done. However, more is getting done than was getting done at school. And I'll give you just one example. Here's his math book. And when they finally sent this book back to me, like at the end of November, beginning of December, I think it was beginning of December, there was nothing done. They hadn't been able to get him, maybe the on first other page. News. Look at this. No, not other news. No, I'm not finished. Hey, no, hey, hey. We're going to show this after. I have, I have it in point form. So nothing was done. And there are two books. Um, so there's about six or seven modules in total. Nothing was done, and just in the month that he's been home, we have gotten through the entire first chapter. All This whole thing, we did all this, and considering even that I didn't do it during Christmas break, basically we've done all this in three weeks in January, the entire first chapter, and then here's the practice test. I'm going to have him do it, and then I'm going to see if the school... Why do your lips look so red? Because I have lipstick on. I'm going to see oh. whether the school will let him do it at school. But you see, that's a big difference. Nothing got done at school. And we've already done this, even with the very little that we're putting into the time. It's still uh, more, uh, more is getting done than at school. A lot more. Yeah. So, and, okay, other than that, I want to mention um, his interests. His interests are going up. Like, he has more interest in things. And one thing was candy making, which I talked about in my other video. Gunner really likes candy making. Right? 
And so we, my new passion. Yeah. So we found something he's really passionate about, and actually, um, he wants to maybe start a business. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them about the details though, because it's proprietary information, right? For now, it's There's a, a secret. Cute little puppy. It's a secret. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited it's because a secret. you're excited about something, which is great. Um, so candy making. And the other thing which he was waving around before, where is it? That little paper. Ah, here it is. Ah, that little paper. This is a cartoon. Don't burp on camera. Don't burp. I right. say, say excuse me. Uh, you saw Daddy. that thing in my face. All right, all right. Say excuse you, me. You all saw that. Just so you know. It's not like I will tell him, but anyway. You need to work on it. So, okay. So, here is a cartoon. This one has grease. That's why I ripped it out. We have this cartoon book, and Gunnar has a ton of ideas for funny things. And really funny. You know, sometimes he... he this he, one my mom made, though. Yeah, I made this one. Sometimes, like, he interrupts me and he wants to tell me something funny. And I'm like, what? But then when he tells me, it's actually really funny. I mean, it's not good that you interrupt, but you are very funny. So, wait, let's show them this. I don't think they're going to be able to First see it. First frame. No, no, wait. They can't see it. Gunny, I'll just tell them about it. Because um, we want to get going, right? We have a bunch no. of errands. First. Okay, okay. I'll show it to you. Here, give it to me. I'll keep the camera. All right, so this is the rabbit cartoon. So here's the little rat. Don't shake my hand, Gunny. Here's a rabbit. He comes up to the table. A rabbit He's like, yay. I love the table. And then he's chewing he the starts table. chewing it. And as he's chewing it, and he's like his thinking mind, he's sculpting the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, he thinks he's like carving the Eiffel Tower. Oh, and, then, and then you come in. I show up and I'm like, bad rabbit, stop chewing my table. And he's like, poof, all his dreams are gone. And he's like... But I didn't even get to finish. And then he has to go back to lying on the carpet, dreaming about the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay, so we have a whole And we book. have a bunch of these. We have a lot. Gunnar comes up with a lot of funny things. That one I came up with. Um, okay, so another thing, emotionally, I think it's better. He's a lot happier. Hey, how do you feel now since you're not in school? Well, that, that's just how I'm feeling with this, but... No. In general, yes. Yeah, better. Okay, it was really rough being in school. I mean, there's one thing. Uh, well, we'll get to the the bad part after. By the way, for all of you who don't live in Canada, Canada, eh? Yesterday there was a semi blizzard. Like you couldn't really see, but the snow was light. Yeah, it was a lot of snow. Which means it was packing up, but Come like sit down, now, I'm done. now I'm it's not even errands. snow. It's just ice. All right, so. Um, where was I? So emotionally, yeah, better. Like, he's happier, definitely, I think. And another thing that came out of that is because his stress is way down. I, I've noticed, like, his eating habits have gotten a lot better. Because he kind of, I think, when he was under a lot of stress, like, he was... I ate a lot of food. Yeah, and he was really... Like chips. Craving junk food. Now, I don't keep a lot of junk I in the house. I eat because I'm sad. i sad because I eat. Uh, a reference to that. Anyone who knows that in the comics... Up so to you. Austin Powers. Okay, but okay. I, anyway, look. So he he would. I don't buy a lot of junk, but it was like if there was one thing in the house that was like high high carb or high sugar. If I had a few cookies, or I had a little bit of ice cream, or I had some chips, or whatever it was. And if I didn't have that, it would be bread and milk. Like he would find it and he would eat it. And you know, it was my only choice. If I really really wanted to control everything he ate, I would have had to put locks on the cupboards. And I didn't want to live that way, and I didn't want him to live that way. I just felt that that was also emotionally damaging to him, and I want to find a better solution where his stress is lower, and that he chooses to My make better salty. choices with food. So that's what's been happening. He's not binging anymore on foods, and he's hey, what day is it choosing today? to eat healthier food. It's it's Thursday. It's Thursday, the first of February. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so what he's decided to do is to eat healthier food. Come here. We're Each almost Thursday. Done. Gunner, I want to get out. Every Thursday, we're going to show you a comic. Oh, we are? Yep. All right. Okay, we can a do that. A new comic. Okay, maybe on my other channel, too, the one where, like, my Patreon people, uh, they mostly, they see that channel. Um, so, no junk food, right? So, what do you eat now instead of junk food? Some changes. I accidentally ate a Snickers bar yesterday. The other day, week. I had a Twix bar. But in general, what do you I, eat? I'm going to... I'm gonna have to get liposuction. <laughs> With the vacuum cleaner. Another reference. No, you're not, because you're just gonna grow into your, your weight and everything. It's gonna Another be reference. I accidentally ate a cookie last week. 
But it's all his choice, eh? I'm not forcing you, right? Don't get liposuction. Can you please answer my question? I'm not forcing you, right? And you're choosing to eat healthier food. And so you're eating more what? Healthy food. Yeah, like what? What's it? What do you have every night now instead of any kind of junk? Fruits and carrots. Yeah, he has a big fruit plate with carrots, sometimes cucumbers, and we make it all nice. We make it like a nice, beautiful design. Sometimes he has a little bit of dip with it. And well, uh, we took a picture. We're gonna show you. Yeah, it. we'll show you some pictures. We are going to paste showing them this right now. in your and yes. And instead of that milk, was beautiful, isn't it? And so he switched to coconut water. So like a couple times a day, instead of having a lot of milk. Coconut. That's another coconut. improvement. Coconut. So how do you feel? You Wait, feel how's that song go? Oh, coconut woman is calling out, and every day I can hear her shout. Something like that. Anyway, it's the loft key, but whatever. Okay. All right. Coco got the lot to iron. Make you strong like a lion. Anyway, so uh, eating habits improved a lot, very naturally. You didn't even it just sing sort of happened. The whole song. I think the stress was really, he was developing like this really not good coping mechanism. And uh, I'm happy to see that it's resolving naturally and on his own accord. And, and yeah, just because he's feeling better. Pause! Pause! Go, okay, yes? Okay. One thing from an advice as a kid, God, my tooth is cold. What were you gonna say? Oh, yeah. Advice from a kid. I've never experienced this, but kind of, before. Um, I have, but I'm not experiencing it anymore. Never force your kid to eat healthy foods. For, they should make their own choice because you can't make them choose for the rest of their life. So maybe when they're young or small, and yeah, okay, but then then they're going to try to get all they can have. Uh, so you don't think it's a good idea to forbid your kids to ever eat junk food? Yeah, because, like, maybe when they're small, you shouldn't let them, you shouldn't let them eat a lot of it because they're going to like it, but they won't get the big picture. So maybe when they're small, you can say, well, yeah, okay, you can have it sometimes as a tree, but don't completely forbid it ever. Right. The rest are going to be it's like... The forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Like yeah. Adam and Eve were tempted to eat it, and yeah. it's just an apple. I agree. Yeah. So... In moderation. moderation. If you forbid yeah. broccoli, then the kid might be like, ooh... But it, you want to encourage healthy eating and you want to set good examples. I think we definitely try to do that. And I'm not saying forbid uh, good foods, like healthy foods, right. to make them want it more. Just don't forbid junk food. Like right. It's food. They can eat it, but... Just now and then. Now and then. They can't eat it every day. Constantly. And get it as a treat. Or they can have dessert after dinner sometimes. Oh, right. Teach to moderation. Okay. And so the last thing, oh, Kenny, I want to finish this up. I want to do my errands. So the last thing was the, the like negative aspects about the homeschooling is that I'm very, very busy. I have a lot of responsibilities. Gunner's with me pretty much all the time. And so a lot of times it's really boring for him if I have to work um, or if I have other jobs that I have to do. My mother's, can you stop? He's, she's moving out now. She's sold her place. And I have to empty it. And I told you in my other video, I'm, you know, packing it up for charity. No, we're not going to tell them. And, um, I mean, I have a lot of different kinds of jobs. And sometimes I can bring them along with me. And it's boring. And no, he does not get on board, even if I try. And uh, sometimes I can't bring him. I leave him with his dad. And he's pretty much just watching the iPad. Also, he, stop. He's also not with other kids, which is kind of a drag. I think he he's sad the that he's show, lost bro. his friends stop several hey. times in the last few years. Hey. Stop it now so we can finish the video, okay? And he's lost friends over and over again because each school just kicked him out and he's been shuffled around. And he did make friends, but they're gone. And also, you know, the parents, in case you're wondering, why don't I just call them up? They don't want to get involved because Gunnar has, you know, problems with his behavior because of his um, ASD. Which, by the way, some of you have figured out uh, about PDA, that it is a, what they call in the UK PDA, which I guess here would have been called a type of PDD. Um, if you're curious what PDA is, you could look it up. I'll make a video at some point, but 
for now. Maybe you just look it up, and then you'll really understand why it's really difficult for Gunner, um, even though he's, you know, he's probably the most difficult, challenging type of ASD, like among the more high-functioning types, uh, because they're very, you know, intelligent and verbal, but the functioning is actually pretty low considering, you know? It's hard for us. It's hard, and people just don't understand why it's so hard. Anyway, so um, some boredom and isolation and losing friends and people not wanting to get involved and we're pretty isolated. Thank God for our church. Hey, oh. we have a good time in church. We do, and he has some friends there, but they're older. Jamie okay, so there. now we're going to go out and do some things. I just want to give you an update on the whole. I'd say it's going okay, but uh, it's all, it's hard for me. I mean, because I have... I have a lot, and listen, at this age, I can have Gunner with me. It's not like it's hard for me to be with him, but it's hard for me to do, you know, the educational stuff or to do, you know, more than just the minimum because of the amount of responsibility I already have to in a lot of areas. But once this stuff is taken care of with my mom's place and the move is finalized, the stuff is cleared out, maybe then it's going to get a bit easier. And actually, since I have the car now, it's easier too, a bit. So, you know, we're managing, eh, Gunnar? Oh, uh, we're definitely going to the movie theater. Soon. It's one thing we're going to do, but we're managing. What do you think? How's the homeschooling, you think? Managing? Great. Okay, he's happy. All right. Although, I sometimes I feel a bit desperate for child care because he's, he's bored. and I can't help it. I know, but I, oh, I can't help this. that I have a lot of work to do, and I can't entertain him, and I can't... You know, people oh, take them out, tests? do this, do that, but like, where am I supposed to find the time? It's not realistic. <laughs> so that's it. I just wanted to give you an update. And that's it. it On the whole, it's good. Okay, let's say goodbye. Oh, then. yes. Yeah, it's an old math test. My teacher. Do your homework. Do your homework. Throws noodles at you. Okay, let's say goodbye. Yes, and then some dude firing in a dog's face, and then the dog dies. Hey, let's say goodbye. You're going to really challenge the limits of their attention span. I don't know how many of them are going to make it through this what? whole video. Say goodbye. Okay. Bye. We'll see next? you next time. Bye.